Hello dear learners welcome to learn microbiology in this video we will study about the another mechanism of negative control of transcription in prokaryotes and that is induction let's get started first let us understand what is the meaning of negative control as we learned in the previous video negative control of transcription it is a control mechanism which prevents transcription when the gene products are not required by the cell there are two mechanisms of negative control first one is repression that we have already studied in the previous video in case you have missed it i will provide the link in the description box today in this video we will study about the second mechanism of negative control that is induction now what is enzyme induction in this mechanism an enzyme is made only when its substrate is present so it seems to be opposite of repression isn't it in case of repression the enzyme was made when the substrate was absent but here in induction enzyme is made when its substrate is present because these enzymes have a catabolic role what do you mean by catabolic role that they are important for the utilization or catabolism of these substrates so when this substrate is present in the medium only then this enzymes are needed to break down this substrate to give energy to the cells is it that is a reason whenever the substrate is absent in the media the enzymes need not to be made let us understand this with an example of disaccharide lactose now lactose is a disaccharide molecule made of two sugars one is glucose and second one is galactose so whenever lactose is present in the medium the bacteria requires certain enzymes like beta galactosidase which will break down your lactose into the two sugars glucose and galactose where glucose and galactose can then enter various metabolic pathways okay so when the lactose is not there in the medium and if the cell goes on synthesizing this enzyme beta galactosidase then it is going to waste the resources and its energy right that is the reason why if lactose is absent this enzymes is not made but the synthesis of this enzyme like beta galactosidase which is involved in lactose catabolism it will begin immediately after lactose is added so how is this control it is controlled by an inducer of this operon which is called as allolactose now whenever lactose is present in the medium this lactose will gets converted to its isomer called as allolactose allolactose is an inducer so it will initiate the synthesis of this enzyme now why an inducer is needed because the lactose transcription takes place of your lac operon now this lac operon is always switched off so by default it is negatively regulated okay so whenever lactose is present in the medium it gets converted to allolactose then this allolactose will induce this lac operon to start the transcription of the genes 
which are involved in lactose catabolism and when this is going to happen only when lactose is present in the medium so this is called as enzyme induction in this mechanism also there is an involvement of a repressor protein to prevent the transcription thus induction mechanism is also under negative control now let us understand this with one experiment so here we have a culture flask where we have a media which is not having lactose so lactose is absent in this media and the bacteria is growing in this media so in this experiment we are again going to monitor the increase of three components and then plot them in a graph so this is the graph which has the time on the x axis so we have a timer with us then we are going to plot the increase in the y axis in this experiment we are going to monitor the increase in three components when the cell start to divide in this media first one is cell number because as the bacteria goes on dividing its number of cell is going to increase second we are going to monitor the total proteins proteins denote the um, uh, not only the enzymes for lactoferrin but all the other total proteins in the cell and then we will monitor the concentration of the beta galactosidase enzyme which is a lactose catabolic enzyme which is encoded by your lactoferrin okay so shall we start with this experiment so let's start the timer the bacteria start to grow and we can see we have plotted the three important components in the graph we can find the first one the cell number it is going on increasing as expected similarly we can find the total protein is also going on increasing but look here the beta galactosidase enzyme is near to zero why because lactose is absent so when lactose is absent in the media this enzymes which are encoded by your lactoferrin they are not synthesized in other sentence we can say that they are blocked so we will again go for a twist here what we will do is let us add lactose and see what changes will happen okay so we have here added lactose to this medium let us let us close the cap immediately right to prevent any contamination and now what we will do we will start the timer and again we will monitor the growth of the cells shall we do it so we can find the bacteria is growing and our graph is also changing once timer has stopped so now is the time to analyze the graph we have seen after adding of lactose the cell number keep on increasing right as well as total also goes on increasing but the beta galactosidase enzyme which was absent when lactose was absent now once you add lactose here once you add lactose what has happened we can find that beta galactosidase enzyme was trans was synthesized means the lac operon went from an off state to an activated state so now lac operon has synthesized all those enzymes needed for breakdown of lactose and one of that is your beta galactosidase enzyme so how did the cell knew that we have added lactose here and now it has to synthesize the beta galactosidase enzyme isn't it strange so let us now understand the mechanism of induction in the next slide with an animation so do watch the video till the end let us take a scenario here where bacteria is growing in a media without lactose there is no lactose in the media okay so as i mentioned 
the genes which are used uh, which are involved in lactose breakdown they are in in the form of a lacoperon so this is the lacoperon first let us understand about the lacoperon so we have promoter where your rna polymerase will bind we have an operator where a repressor molecule can bind correct also we have three structural genes the first one is lag z this lag z codes for your beta galactosidase enzyme which is going to break down your lactose into glucose and galactose second we have a lag y gene this gene is going to code for an enzyme called as permease which allows the cell to accept or to intake the lactose in from the medium third one is lag a this is actually going to code for an enzyme called as acetyl transferase or you can also call it as trans acetylase the clear role of this enzyme is not known but it is also involved in the utilization of lactose okay so when this three enzymes are present only then lactose will be broken down into glucose and galactose where these products will enter metabolic pathways like emp tca atc and gives the cell lots of atps correct so whenever there is no lactose see now lactose is absent from the media and the cell keeps on synthesizing this enzyme then it is going to be waste of energy correct so what the cell do is it is going to have this repressor protein so whenever lactose is absent repressor is an active form repressor is, is an active form when lactose is absent so now it can go and bind to the operator as we have seen here right so when we have your operator site there is a repressor then what will happen our rna polymerase tries to transcribe the genes but it cannot move forward yes or no so what is happening the transcription of this three structural genes of the lacoperon is blocked hence the lactose catabolic enzymes are not getting synthesized thus beta galactosidase permease acetyl transferase enzymes will not be made and this will save the energy of the cell because when lactose is absent it is going to be foolish if the cell keeps on synthesizing enzymes correct now how will the cell know if lactose is present in the medium naturally or we can say by default okay by default this lag operon is always switched off it means it always has this repressor protein bound to the operator so rna polymerase cannot transcribe this is by default so whenever lactose will be there in the medium only then this repressor will be removed and then rna polymerase can move forward and transcribe the structural genes okay so how will the cell make out that now lactose is there repressor should remove get removed and rna polymerase needs to go ahead correct so let us understand that in the next slide so now let us consider a bacteria growing in a media which is containing lactose okay so by default as we know that uh, since lactose is now present in the media uh, the repressor which is bound to the operator needs to be removed yes or no only then those enzymes which are involved in catabolism of lactose will be synthesized now first, uh, first let us have a look at these lactose molecules as you can see it is a disaccharide molecule two sugars you can see which is containing glucose and galactose they are bound by a bond between them and here we have our lacoperon and there is rna polymerase enzyme and then there is also a repressor bound to the operator that is by default okay so now we have to remove this repressor 
when the because no lactose is present in the medium we want the structural genes to be transcribed and translated and those gene products to be formed so how will that happen that happen with the help of this lactose only now there is an isomer of lactose which is called as the allolactose okay now can you see lactose and allolactose looks same much similar structures they have even though they are not the same one but they have similar structure because they are isomers what are they they are isomers okay so whenever lactose is there in the media few molecules of this lactose gets converted to its isomer called as allolactose now allolactose is an inducer why because it can now go and this allolactose can now go and bind to your repressor once the inducer that is allolactose is bound to the repressor your repressor will fall off from the operator repressor can no longer bind to your operator okay so when there was no allolactose there was no inducer repressor was associated with the operator once there is allolactose bound to the repressor repressor can no longer bind to the operator it gets removed so once repressor is removed rna polymerase is happy correct it is happy because now it can go and transcribe the three structural genes by the process called as transcription where you will get an mrna corresponding to these three structural genes that is your lag z lag y and lag a and then what is the next process this mrna which is synthesized is going to undergo a process called as translation by this translation process you will get your three enzymes which are called as lactose catabolic enzyme that is the enzymes which are important for the breakdown of lactose so that the cell can derive energy from it so that is all about the induction mechanism of lactoferrin so what did we learn from this that in this induction mechanism there is an involvement of an inducer the product or the substrate itself or its isomer there is one more substrate called as iptg this is actually a chemical but it also resembles allolactose so even iptg if bound to the repressor repressor is also getting removed okay so when such kind of inducers bind to the repressor repressor can no longer bind to the operator it will get removed and then rna polymerase can transcribe and translate this structural genes of lactoferrin and you will get this catabolic enzymes which can now go and break down your lactose to produce energy but when lactose is absent in the medium the repressor is always found bound to the operator and the transcription of these genes are prevented to prevent the loss of energy and resources i hope you all have understood this concept in case you have any doubts put them in the comment section i will definitely answer your queries so thank you all my dear students for watching this video if this video was helpful don't forget to like the video share it to your friends and subscribe to learn microbiology